What's going on guys? It's Trevito and we are back at it again with another in-depth guide. I am so pumped to say our favorite pole arm wielding funeral directing Pyro Queen is returning for her third rerun. If you're into spooky holiday spirit or just want a DPS that can literally vaporize the abyss, Hu Tao may be the one for you. In this guide, I'll discuss her talents, constellations, weapons, artifacts, team builds, and rotations. Make sure to stay to the end as I'll be demonstrating proper dash and jump cancel mechanics and how to easily learn them. Let me know in the comments below if you have her plan on pulling for her and why. With that being said, let's get right into it. When we're talking about Hu Tao, you typically hear of insane pyro damage, fast movement, low HP, and proper rotations. Luckily, these skills can be learned easier than you may think. Primarily, Hu Tao is played as an on-field DPS who is used mostly in vaporized team comps. With the introduction of Dendro, we now have new artifact sets and the option for different playstyles. More on that later. The most essential part of Bu Tao's kit is how she converts part of her health to attack. So taking her to level 90 is important as it increases both stats that she uses for her damage output. The mass amount of attack she gets from this version makes HP a more valuable stat than attack. Note though, attack is still a useful stat to her because in the end her damage multipliers are still baseball. Moving on to talent, normal attack, secret spear of Wang Shen. Hu Tao can rapidly do up to a 6 normal attack combo. With that being said, her charge attack is an essential part of her DPS output. It causes her to lunge forward dealing extremely high pyro damage and will be where a bulk of her DPS comes from. Additionally, her charge attacks have no ICD, which means that for the duration of her skill she is able to apply pyro and vape every charge kill. Elemental skill guide to afterlife. Funeral Lady's DPS may come from her normal attack, but her skill is what makes it possible. When casted, it drains 30% of her current HP and infuses her normal and charged attacks with Pyro. The skill has a 9 second duration and she gains a massive attack increase based on her max HP as well as an incredible resistance to interruption which allows her to have a more comfy style of gameplay. Additionally, her charged attacks will apply Blood Blossom. This ability lasts for 8 seconds and will deal pyro damage every 4. Note that Blood Blossom is considered skill damage. Elemental Burst Spirit Soother Her burst summons her signature ghost to deal pyro damage in a large AoE. This ability regenerates health for every enemy hit with a max of 5. Both the damage it deals and how much health it regenerates will be increased if her health is below 50%. It can be a great survivability tool not only for the healing it does, but also for the iframe it provides. Her burst has a 60 energy cost with a 15 second cooldown and can be a significant amount of her damage in a rotation. However, the majority will still come from charge attacks. When it comes to talent priority, it's very straightforward. Her normal attack is her most important, followed by her skill, and last but not least, her burst. Moving on to Ascensions, A1, Flutter By. While in her skill state, all other party members will gain 12% crit rate for 8 seconds. A little extra crit during the setup for the next rotation is welcome, but overall this ability does not offer much benefit as Hu Tao revolves around an on-field playstyle. Ascension 4. When Hu Tao's HP is equal to or less than 50%, her pyro damage bonus is increased by a whopping 33%. This drastically incentivizes playing her at low HP, but because you typically build her with more health, this is not as scary as it may sound. The Ascension passive has great synergy with her signature weapon, Staff of Homa, which boosts the user's attack by an additional amount when below 50% HP. Moving on to Constellations. As with most characters, Constellations are not a necessity, but with Hu Tao, her first con is an absolute banger. C1 Crimson Bouquet, hands down the most important con in her kit. While in her elemental skill state, Hu Tao's charge attacks do not consume stamina. This is arguably one of the best 5-star constellations in the game. It drastically reduces how much stamina you use in your combo, making her rotations have a comfy feel and leaving you with more room to either dodge or cancel her charge attacks. C2, Ominous Rainfall, applies the Blood Blossom effect after her burst and additionally increases its damage by 10% of Hu Tao's max HP. A decent DPS upgrade, but not an essential one. C3 and C5. C3 increases her skill, C5 increases her burst. Both offer increased DPS, but will not make or break your Hu Tao. C4, Garden of Eternal Rest. When you defeat an enemy affected by Blood Blossom, all party members, excluding Hu Tao herself, will gain 12% crit rate for 15 seconds. Similar to her A1 passive, but with a longer duration. C6, Butterfly's Embrace. The speedrun Showcase King triggers when Hu Tao's HP drops below 25%. Additionally, it can be activated by her death. Instead of dying, Hu Tao will be left with 1 HP in a dream. 
For the next 10 seconds, her crit rate is increased by 100%. Her resistance to interruption is boosted massively, and her physical and elemental resistance is increased by 200%. In theory, this is a huge buff, but it can be difficult to consistently activate it during normal gameplay, as well as being limited with a 60 second cooldown. If you want to make the most out of this constellation, it will change the way you build your hotel. More on that later. When it comes to artifacts, Hu Tao has various options, starting off with 4-piece Crimson Witch of Flames, generally considered Bu Tao's strongest set option. Boosting both Pyro damage and Vaporize damage, it scales extremely well with buffs, despite her only being able to obtain one stack of its 4-piece effect. It is the set I would recommend to most Hu Tao players for the overall best experience. Luckily, this can be strongbox as farming the Crimson Witch domain is not optimal. 4-piece Shimanawa. It boosts Hu Tao's normal end charge attack damage, but the energy drain significantly cuts down on how often she can burst. It offers less flexibility in terms of rotations as you will be unable to burst immediately after activating her skill. Note, not having her burst available can also be troublesome for survivability, so it's highly recommended to pair her with a defensive character when using this set. It's an extremely resin efficient set to farm as you will most likely already be farming for Emblem. The damage comparison to Crimson Witch is very similar, but in some cases Shimanawa can come out slightly ahead if you are very good at animation cancelling. Overall, in most situations, the difference between the two sets in terms of damage will be negligible. 4-piece Gilded Dreams With the introduction of Dendro, we have gotten some new options for Hu Tao. The Funeral Lady focuses her damage heavily around vaporized reactions, giving her a big need for elemental mastery. This makes Gilded Dreams an extremely good option, and it is actually not far behind Crimson Witch. If you have a Gilded set with better substat rolls, it's likely going to outperform the previously mentioned sets. 2-piece, two 2-piece. Two Tenacity of Milith, Crimson Witch of Flames, Wanderer's Troop, Gilded Dreams, Flower of Paradise Lost are all viable options for two-piece two-piece combinations. Two-piece of Fontaine's new Hunter set, 15% normal end charge attack can also be used. Most two-piece two-piece combinations will come down to substats for general performance. When it comes to stat prioritization, EM, HP, Pyro Damage, and Crit. Aim for at least 100 to 200 EM. Unironically, before you reach 100 EM, Elemental Mastery is actually more valuable than Crit. After that, the priority is Crit, EM, HP, and then Attack Percent. In general, EM Sands is slightly better than HP Sands, but it can be substat and weapon dependent. If you're using an EM weapon like Dragon's Bane or you get a lot of EM buffs from your party, you will want to slot an HP Sands. Note, Hu Tao's bonus attack is based on her max HP from her elemental skill and is capped to 400% of her base attack. In most cases, this HP threshold is so high, around 35 to 45k HP depending on your weapon, that you should not be hitting it. However, if you are using a low base attack weapon and HP sands and have a lot of HP rolls, you might cross this limit, losing efficiency. Moving on to weapons, who would Hu Tao be without the proper pull to fight with? Staffahoma, the Pyro Queen's signature weapon and best in slot, an incredible weapon that is certainly tailor made for her. This weapon offers high base stats, a big HP buff, and synergizes perfectly with her need to be under 50% HP. Additionally, Staff of Homeless can be an unbelievable option for many other units in the game, increasing its value exponentially. Staff of the Scarlet Sands. This staff offers an extremely high crit rate stat stick. Despite her not being able to fully stack it, it converts EM to attack, making this weapon particularly useful for high EM builds. In sub situations, this weapon can make 4 piece Gilded Dreams your preferred set of choice. Battle of the Fjords, the new BP polearm. With Fontaine's release of the new Battle Pass weapons, we got a very competitive polearm for Hu Tao enjoyers. The passive requires you to play a team with three different elements, which is what our funeral director typically prefers for most of her team comps. With the passive active, this is among Hu Tao's best weapon at high refinements, competing with even five star weapons, and it is still among the best options even at R1. Dragon's Bane. This weapon will alone cover most of your EM needs. It has a very strong and synergistic passive with her playstyle of vaporizing her attacks. Refinements scale this weapon up to being competitive with even 5 star options. Primordial Jade Wing Spear While this weapon offers high base stats and a solid crit rate boost, Hu Tao takes a while to stack its passive, only reaching max stacks roughly halfway through her combo. This weapon performs roughly the same or a little lower than high refined Dragon's Banner Deathmatch. Lithic Spear 
One of Hu Tao's strongest teams consists of four Liyue characters, thus making her utilize the passive to its fullest potential. This weapon can be a very strong option at high refinements, but since this is a weapon, Banner Exclusive 4 Star is not recommended to go for it. If you happen to have one laying around, it can be an extremely viable option for some of her team comps. White Tassel, the best free to play option for pull arms. A fine stepping stone until you get your hands on another one of her recommended weapons. Generally it performs better with N2C combos due to his passive. More on that later. Moving on to team comps. In this section I will discuss Hu Tao's overall best teams. There are many different ways to run this character with unique and different builds that can still be extremely effective. With that being said, if I don't discuss a team comp you're interested in, please comment below with any questions. I do my absolute best to respond to every comment and I'm happy to help however I can. Hu Tao Double Hydro. This team consists of Hu Tao, Xing Cho, and Yuan. For the fourth slot, you can add Zhang Li as a common popular choice, allowing for shred and comfortability, or Shang Ling, Cosmo, or Sucrose to help increase maximum DPS output. The Pyro Queen Double Hydro as a trio core are some of her strongest team comps. With two Hydro units, you get Hydro Resonance for the extra HP that benefits both Hu Tao and Yuan. Playing a shielder in the filler slot makes her team very comfortable, while playing another sub DPS or animal unit for swirls and buffs will make for a higher team damage at the cost of a more defensive option. Unfortunately, you can't reliably apply VV Shred to Pyro in this team, but your double Hydro Core will certainly appreciate the damage boost they are given. Zhongli's Shred, on the other hand, will apply both Pyro and Hydro offering not just reliable protection, but a nice DPS increase. Shangling in this team will often referred to as the Funerational team and is one of Hu Tao's highest damage dealing teams often used in speedruns. Hu Tao Mono Hydro. This team consists of Funeral Lady with Xing Cho or Yelan as a two core units. The second half can include multiple options. Variants include Double Geo, Double Cryo, Over Vape, and VV Vape. If you're confused with those options, don't worry, I will simply break it down for you. Double Geo often used with Zhongli and Albedo. The Geo Bros offer Geo Resonance, giving a plus 15% damage. Zhongli gives a well-appreciated comfort shielding and resistance shred, while Albedo shares 125 EM with his team, as well as some off-field damage when using his burst. This team composition is probably one of the safest for Hu Tao to play in. Additionally, Yun Jin is an honorable mention in Albedo's plays for her normal attack buff. Note, when playing Yun Jin, optimal play would would be N2C combos to utilize her abilities. Double Cryo, often used with Cryo Shielder, and another for utility for additional off-field Cryo application. Layla, Rosaria, Kaya, Diona, Ganyu, and Shenhar are all viable options. Not as high damage ceiling as other team variants, but can be lower investment as the only 5-star unit on the team is Hu Tao. You'll get some melts and sometimes even freeze the enemy, which can be a welcomed addition. Overvape. Typically used with Fischl and a flex slot. This team makes Hu Tao both vaporize and overload. It excels against larger enemies as it has a big knockback on smaller mobs causing an overall DPS loss. This team can roster many variants of characters allowing for a favorable build for free to play players. VV Vape, played with an animal unit and a second pyro unit to swirl and VV Shred. The OG VV Vape team composition includes Amber on Elegy and Cosmo and Sucrose. The idea is to swirl both pyro and hydro, allowing for an unreal vape combo. It's a team with tight rotations, very little survivability, and mechanically difficult to play properly. With how strong double hydro teams are, it is not recommended for most players to fail VV Vape, as the difficulty versus reward is very minimal. With that being said, if you are up for the challenge, this can be an insanely rewarding team comp. Hu Tao and Benny, a heavily discussed combo that will un undoubtedly lead to a debate in the comment section. A common misconception is that you should not play Benny with Hu Tao. Due to Hu Tao's scaling, remaining under 50% HP offers an incredible DPS buff. Because of that, a healer is commonly not an optimal option. 
With that being said, Bennett's buff is so OP that it actually compensates for the loss of pyro damage Hu Tao gains from being under 50%. If your Bennett is C6, the viability of him further increases. He also increases sustainability, making him a valuable team companion. Aside from his healing and buffs, he offers pyro resonance and an additional 25% attack, closing the gap even further. Hu Tao Burgeon. With the introduction of Dendro, we have seen some new team comps. Hu Tao Burgeon is a fun team that works surprisingly well. Not the most optimal use for Hu Tao, but definitely a viable option if you want to maximize on Burgeon reactions. The team consists of Hu Tao, Xing Chou or Yellen, Nahida, and Zhongli. Important to note, units like Toma or Layla are worth considering to sustain your Hu Tao comps. Toma, especially at C6, offered normal and charge attack buffs, which can drastically enhance Hu Tao's DPS output. Moving on to combos, Hu Tao at first can feel like a mechanically difficult character to play. She has an incredibly high skill ceiling where the better you are performing her animation cancels, the more DPS she has to offer. However, she is also a very strong unit without any advanced mechanics and totally playable with zero knowledge around her charge attack canceling. If you simply enjoy her playstyle but don't want to learn advanced mechanics, you should know that you can play her in a very straightforward and easy way. Just do your setup, normal and charge attack, and watch the enemies disappear. N1C vs N2C. What this means is that you normal attack either one or two times before performing the charge attack. N1C combos are generally easier to perform than N2C and apply a little less pyro. This can be beneficial depending on what team you use. N2C combo has a higher potential damage output, consumes less stamina, but is more difficult to execute. You can also run into an issue with too much pyro application in certain team comps, causing you to not vape your important hits and leaving a lot of potential damage on the table. You do N2C by normal attacking twice, followed by holding the third down until you charge attack. Note, if you're running White Tassel, Yun Jin, or Candace C6 on your team, N2C will be preferable. Moving on to the hardest part of Hu Tao's kit, animation canceling. This sole feature has stopped many people from enjoying the playstyle of this unit due to them simply not understanding the mechanics. With minimal practice, this can be second nature. Starting with uncanceled combos. Playing C0 Hu Tao without any cancels and charge attack on repeat will come close to the potential damage output of jump canceling. You can expect 8 N1C or 7 N2Cs without any cancels at all. Hu Tao N1C jump cancel or N2C jump cancel. When jump canceling efficiently, you can expect around 9 N1C attacks or 8 N2C attacks, which averages one more of each than an uncanceled combo. Keep in mind, more is possible with perfect execution. Hu Tao N1C dash cancel or N2C dash cancel. When dash canceling effectively, you can expect 9 to 10 N1C attacks or 8 to 9 N2C attacks. However, if you do N1C combos fast enough, you will hit the dash limit, thus needing you to jump cancel every third charge attack. Mixing and jump cancels can make executing the combo more difficult, so I would recommend you try out N2C instead. Note, if you do not have C6 Xingqiu as your only Hydro unit, it's recommended to use N1C combos so that your Hydro application will keep up with the Pyro. If you play her in a double Hydro team, you will most likely be able to keep up with the Pyro application with either option. What combo should you use? A great question. This will be up to your personal preference. It factors the team you play her in and what you want out of her. The damage output between them both is so minimal that if you can comfortably execute one over the other, that will typically lead to higher DPS output. N1C is easier to learn and easier to play and has a little less pyro application. N2C has a slight edge both in damage and stamina consumption, but it's harder to execute. Your Hu Tao comfortability and knowledge will increase as you practice, so I highly encourage you to start with what works for you and tighten it up later. The most important question, should you pull? The answer is yeah. Spend all your money, and when you're done, spend your parents' money. After that, get a corner job to support the wife who will because Genshin is life. But for real, spend responsibly and always within your means. With that being said, I would not put her in a must-pull tier. She is, however, an incredible pyro DPS that offers fun and challenging gameplay, and you certainly will not regret adding her to your roster. If you are spending, I would recommend C0, Homa, then C1, for the reason that Homa can be run on many characters, increasing its versatility. 
Thank you guys so much for watching my in-depth Hu Tao guide. This spooky funeral director has always held a warm place in our hearts from her insane vaporized damage to her quirky personality. She is an extremely enjoyable addition to the game. If you are in need of a hard-hitting pyro DPS or new challenge to your Genshin experience, Hu Tao can be an amazing addition to your team. If you made it this far, know that I truly appreciate you and we are officially friends. Comment Bu Tao below so I know you're one of the real ones. Additionally, if you're interested in a Hu Tao nuke or in-depth practice guide to learn charge attack cancels, let me know in the comments below. With that being said, if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe it helps me out more than you know i do account reviews every wednesday on twitch so feel free to come by the community at twitch.tv forward slash gaming thank you so much for watching the video i will see you guys in the next one